Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome back to the gaming channel, Despones. I'm here with Nate's Got Low Income. It's true. And uh, we're back playing some Sly Cooper. Uh, this is the second level here on nice Mugshot's Palace thingy. Oh, look out for those guards! Mugshot's got those machine gun toting dogs. Mugshot! Machine guns, dude! Machine gun toting dogs. Holy shit! Dude, he shot one of his friends. Holy shit! Oh, they got me. Yeah, they did. What? How did they cut Unfortunate, thing? dude. Des likes dicks in his butt, confirmed. I don't, though. Ah! Nathan, you're getting wrecked by these dogs. Whew. That was close, man. I don't know. Maybe they just took pity on you. They're like, wow. This guy is the worst. Will you make any more I don't even know videos? That is up for debate. I, um, it's not that I don't like doing them, it's just that, like, um, making a video that is as random as I don't even know videos are, is difficult to, like, make a schedule for. So if I was to make one, dicks! If I was to make one, it would have to be completely random. There could be no, like, video upload schedule, is what I'm trying to say, for those kind of videos. I'm still mad at that. When is the next Q&A coming? I actually just asked for questions earlier today on Twitter. Uh, so hopefully, relatively soon. I think I'm going to wait until Nathan leaves so we can still film all of the stuff that we want to film, and then I'll do it after that. I think he's leaving, like, in a week. Sadly. What am I going to do? What? I hit him! Nah, dog. Oh. Des, do you have a religion? Yeah, did we just climb up a stripper pole? <laughs> Probably. <laughs> Actually, I don't know what that is. It kind of looks like you're in like a casino. Like you're... Uh, I don't know. Maybe this is like a hotel. I've, I've now seen what Las Vegas looks like because I hadn't been there since I was like one prior to like a couple months ago. That place sucks so fucking bad. So it kind of does look like you're like in a hotel in Las Vegas. So you're probably not in the actual casino yet. I don't think you got it. And as for your question, I don't really have a religion, no. Um, it's not that I don't like religion. Like, I seriously respect every religion out there. Um, it's just, like, the thing about religion, and I don't mean to go too, like, deep of a conversation here, but, like, the thing about religion is, like, it's not about the religion. It's about the people who are in that religion. There are always going to be insane people, regardless of what their beliefs are. Like, there's a fucking ton of just crazy Christian motherfuckers, right? There's a ton of crazy Islam people, but to label every, like, Islam person... Oh, dude, I didn't even know you could do that. Damn. But to label every Islam person as, like, an extremist, or, you know, or a terrorist, or to label every Christian you know as, like, a good person, like, that's just incorrect. Same with Buddhism, same with everything. Like, there's always gonna be crazy fucking people, no matter what religion, so... Like, I respect all religions, I just don't respect all the people that practice religion. I'm kind of, like, one of those people that's like, I respect all religions, but none of them's really Ow, me. Ow, fuck! Nathan's getting wrecked! Nathan's getting wrecked! Man, I can't believe I've been watching y'all since middle school. Jesus, that was like nine years ago. It is pretty crazy. I always think that it's like, oh man. When I, when I made I don't even know nine and a half, that was like, what, three years ago? I was like, no, that was like six years ago. I'm like, oh! Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Good Christ. Why the fuck would there just be water there? Dude, they're trying to go aesthetic in this bitch. But you know it's crazy, guys. And, you know, it, this is something that astounds me about religion. And, you know, the stigma behind some religions is like the... Let's look at the facts here with, with Christianity real quick. So Satan, you know, we all envision him as a dude who just like was such a bad guy, has like all these fucking demon horns and is the scariest looking motherfucker of all time, right? 
in the beginning, though, I mean, according to the Christian Bible and all that crap, in the beginning, he was a uh, an angel that just one day decided, yo, God, I don't really like all that you're doing. Not only that, but he was the most beautiful one. He was the most beautiful angel. Yeah, and he just decided, yo, God, there's some things that we should change up or something. And God was like, nah, I'm right always. Who does, like, that's, that fucked up, all right? I'm not trying to say, religion, you're stupid, but that's fucked up, right? Imagine you're doing a school project with someone, and it's a group project, you know, why the fuck else would God create angels if it wasn't, like, supposed to be supporting him or whatever, but group project, right? And, um, you're like, man, I like what you're doing, Todd, just for the sake of this argument, his name is Todd. Yo, Todd, I like your I like what you're doing so far, but I think maybe we should do this instead. And imagine Todd's like, fuck no, but not not only fuck no, but I'm actually going to kick you out of the school because I have connections, you're out. Just nope for disagreeing with me. That's fucked up, right? Like I'm not just sounding like a dick, but that's fucked up, okay? But also, what's really crazy about the whole thing is that if you actually read the satanic bible, because apparently they have one too. It's not all that bad. It's not like, yo, go sacrifice goats. It's not like, yo, go cut yourself and put the blood on, like, several babies. Like, nothing weird. It's just a lot of it is more logical than most of what the actual Bible is. And it's pretty insane. And, um, did you know that actually most, a lot of the Bible is based on astrological stuff? Um... Most actual religions are based on astrological stuff. Egyptian religion was based on astrology. Um, did you know this? Oh, yeah. Okay, well, let, I'm, it's probably a boring conversation, but it's a kind of an interesting one, and one that I know a bit about. But, um, so, Egyptian religion is based on astrology. Um, uh, not Buddhism. What is the other one, though? The Hindu? Yes. Yeah, so, Hindus is um, somewhat based on religion, or, I mean, based on astrology. But Christianity is like a thousand percent based on astrology and it's all over in the bible and it points to a lot of different astrological things so um if you wanted me to go into detail i totally could and i'll probably tell you later because it's super interesting like how it was how it was cleverly made um, to seem like it's all factual when most of it is actually like it's based entirely on astrology He's like know, surprised every time. Oh, there's no way this could have been in there. Okay. Okay, shit! Okay. Yeah. Hyperactive ancestor B.F. Cooper. He discovered a way to speed up the clock. Oh, I think this is what they do in this Perfect one. for those long stakeouts. Just hold hmm. down the triangle button to use it. Right, okay, so I think in this Sly Cooper, like, you can't jog. Because in the next one, you can definitely jog. Like, you can definitely go super fast. But in this one, I think you just speed up time with the fast button thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a lot of contradictions, though, in, in just a lot of religion. And I think that, you know, the people that pick and choose what they want to believe in a book, like, it's just not logical. Wait, what? Come on. Oh, yeah, bitch. <laughs> That was so easy. That's because I teched it, man. You did. I used that tech. Well done. And, and this is also what I really like, is that there's a lot of debate now in the chat, and no one's really being an asshole. It's just, uh, we're all being very open-minded about it. Alright, so yeah, right here you just have to fire when there's dudes. Oh, it's backwards. Is it? But, no. Well, okay, so first person view, I don't like it to be, uh... Oh god, dude! Also, you can hit him, so don't like aim near him because he actually can get hit by it. You do, dog. Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Fuck him up! Oh, and he also has like a little horseshoe thing, so I think if he is about to die, he won't die. Oh yeah, he got hit by that. You see that? You you, you exploding that thing actually hit him too. So don't hit that thing either, yeah. <laughs> Escort missions? Yeah, these are the worst in WoW. Oh! How did you do that, Napion? Nice shot! Nice shot! What are you, Michael J. Fox and, and 
Back to the Future? Doc, I don't know if we can do that! Shut the fuck up, Marty! <laughs> Shut your fucking mouth! But I don't know! <laughs> Why are you waving at me, you damn ass hippo? Oh shit! Get him, Nathan! Uh -oh. Nathan, your reflexes, though. Out of this world. Uh oh, uh oh, it's, uh -oh. it's, dude, all, it's dude, all backwards. Dude, 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 holy shit. It's all backwards, that's why it's hard. Did you get it? Nice! God, it's, it's just oh, so real fucking nice! It's just like backwards, so it's really hard. Real fucking nice! Say some real noise. Say some real, real noise. Alright guys, thanks for watching this fucking very deep conversation Sly Cooper episode. It's a little bit weird of one, but I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, if you did, make sure to give it a like down in the like thing section, whatever, below. And also, comment down below your um, ideas behind religion, what you think about it. Um, I'd love to know what you guys think about all this stuff. And, uh, yeah, see you next time, and fair wins.